Well, we are at, finally, the Rose Arms Cliff Crag. I'm going to zoom on in from this aspect. This is like as famous as the Cow and Calf Rocks, really. But this is the Harrogate's version. So ben, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he was getting a little bit close to rolling in cow pats there. We don't want him to do that. Now, it's quite busy. There's cars all on this little tiny road by it. So, and I can see rock climbers from here. Let's just hope that that's all that they're doing. A few rock climbers. It's actually quite warm. I think I've, I think I've got too many clothes on. I could have not been up here for ages. And I've got the most ridiculous shoes for me. That's like the equivalent of stilettos <laughs> for my world, because I don't wear shoes like this. I'm going to walk up the grass because it feels nice on my uh, tootsies. It's hurting my knee though. So here we are doing Armscliff Crag. I've actually tried to do this a few times now and failed miserably every time. Oh, it's hurting my knees. I think I should just take my shoes off and run with bare feet. So, <laughs> that would be the ideal option. My knee's really hurting. All right, stop moaning, Nina. This won't be turned on me very much today because, look, already there's a much better view. Look at this. Don't cry, little one. Marvellous. that person at the top on top of the world don't cry little one oh gosh <laughs> didn't really actually mean to do that but anyway it was quite appropriate timing as the pet was oh gosh poor knee I wonder why it's hurting so much today. Do you think it's missing riding the horses? Or do you think it's because I've got these little miniature heels on? <coughs> I've got a cracking cough at the moment. Oh, I want to take my shoes off. Desperately, I want to take my shoes off. I might have to do so. We'll see how we get on. So what day is it today? The day is Monday and I had to call over to Harrogate so I thought let's do Armscliff Crag. I went into um, <laughs> I went into the supermarket and they had all these ring binders and paper and stuff so I have just spent an absolute small fortune on uh, college stuff so Then it came to, uh, oh, I wonder what this is. <coughs> Cats, it looks like. <coughs> I do apologise, there's probably going to be more of it as well. Awful. I'm actually wheezing as well. I never get colds properly, though. I always... Uh, start to fight them so it's actually kind of annoying because you'd rather just come out of it properly than to uh, just feel rotten the whole time there's loads of people up here I'm going to go around the back of it anyway <coughs> <coughs> good boy Ben good lad Let's uh, have a look round at the view behind me. Can't really see. Come on, little Ben. Good boy. Good lad. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at all those sheepies. <laughs> Oh, 
Pins rolling. Very nice. I'm on Zoom. Oh, he's going down the hill as he rolls. Bless him. <laughs> One. I think we'll walk around the back and then we'll have a look down this side afterwards. Oh, you rock climbing then. Come on, little one. That smell good. Come on then. So, all the there. God, I wish I wasn't squinting so much in the sun. I'm going to get horrible lines. <laughs> horrible lines. Maybe I should pull my shades down. Oh, little Ben. Good boy. Come on. It's just huge, this is. It's, it is so much like the Cal Car Rocks. It really is. Oh, I've got a fly on my ear. Uh... Yeah, that's gone. Look at those clouds. Yeah. Didn't even know this existed for most of my life until I was in my late, uh, late, blah, late teens. Uh, one of my friends was like, oh, let's go to Hamscliffe Crack. And I'm like, where? <laughs> it's like, it's up by Harrogate. I'm like, I don't know where I'm actually talking about. And then she goes, well, it's on the start of Emmerdale um, in the opening credits. I'm like, Emmerdale? Never watched Emmerdale in my life. Well, anyway, it all turns out that Hamscliffe Crack and Ilkley Moor are both on the opening credits when... The program starts. It's a soap opera thing in in England, Britain. Most people watch these silly soap operas. Well, anyway, so then she brought me up here, and so uh, that was the first time I ever came to Armstrong Crag. It's actually quite surprising because, not with Grandpa being into walking and everything, but the thing is, although we did walk every weekend, it, it, we did mostly tend to stick to just going up on Ilkley Moor um, and the only times we went further afield it would be more out to Bolton Abbey and places like that um, if we ever did come here then I certainly have no recollection look I love these walls when they've got that there for the sheepies to get under <laughs> so anyway yeah this is Armscliffe Crag so it's quite something really Good boy. Just walking a little bit. Well. Hmm. Sorry, I, I, I had to pause then. The pause the thought. I'm just really chuffed actually that we're here because this has been one of those things where this is the third time that I've come to film this. The first time we got tell you where we were the first time when I filmed it from afar we were pretty much exactly over that way hang on a minute get off me being mobbed by little flies so where were we yeah we were over there somewhere little Ben oh you're too close I'm on zoom so that was the first first time that we tried to film it. And then the second time that I was coming on my way out here, um, what happened was I saw those huge towers at Harlow Hill, or whatever it's called, yeah, Harlow Moor. And so we ended up filming those instead. And it was raining anyway that day, so it probably worked out for the best, really. And now finally we're here. 
And we've got blue sky with chem haze and sunshine. So shall we? I haven't seen any occultic symbols carved into the side yet, which is always a good thing. Do go interesting colours these rocks when it's been raining and whatnot. That looks quite interesting up there. Maybe we should have a little potter up. But I think we'll stick to the original planet, which is to have a little cruise all around the uh, circumference. And then we'll do our climbing thing. So, yeah, I cannot believe how expensive it is to get, what, to get oneself kitted up for college. Bearing in mind, everything that I bought was half price. Um, I feel a little bit naked though because um, I haven't got a fountain pen and when I was at school that's what I always used to write with was with fountain pens. Maybe still might have some of my mums. I have to go searching. I've got a funny feeling though that my fountain pens will have been uh, in my old house which I got house clearance people to clear in the end so most stuff went apart from my clothes. That was literally all I kept really. So, I don't know about that. I think we're going too far around here, really, going away from it. Um, we'll see, we'll just follow this little track around for now. <coughs> I'm just trying, <coughs> trying not to frown, it, to scowl, I mean, in the sunlight, because I don't want to get loads of lines. Actually, when I was um, out on Friday, when I was out with work people, my uh, friend who still works there, her boyfriend's left uh, probably about two months ago now. And he looks ten years younger if we're not working there. Now it's funny because I've been thinking to myself, what if I end up looking like ten years older? Or maybe what if working there has been keeping me looking young? <laughs> Which makes no sense because... We're riding all the elements, we're outside all the time, and, um, you know, other than having, like, a really toned body, um, from a, a facial point of view, it shouldn't really be keeping your face looking young. Well, anyway, the long and short of it all is that he does literally look ten years younger. All the stress has gone out of his face, and he looks happy and relaxed and contented. Which is nice, really nice to see. Um, <laughs> I said to his girlfriend or fiance, I said, if I even end up just looking five years younger, then I'd be dead chuffed. <laughs> I mean, he's a lot younger than me anyway, but. Right, I'm going to uh, turn this back in a moment and we can see what we can see. Oh, there's not a right lot to see from here, really. Um, just this mound of rocks here. It's a very good lookout zone, though, because you can literally see all around you in this wonderful circle. I wonder what this is here. Good boy, Ben. It's only me who can come to film Ar Armscliff Crag and end up walking away from the rocks, filming random stones, random square stones just plonked in the middle of the land. This feels a bit odd, isn't it? I wonder why that's there. Oh gosh, there's people picking magic mushrooms by the look of things. Let's have a look what's down here. Actually, I feel like a bit of a townie the way I'm dressed, especially with these silly shoes on. I'm not a townie. I never have been a townie. But I feel like one. Already 15 minutes have gone by, so. Looks like this is going to be a two-part job here, isn't it? Oh, look, there's a view of the rocks there. That's better. Yeah, they're picking magic mushrooms. Well, it is September. It's the season for them. Until the first frost comes, and then they all die. They used, we used to ride it. Well, we used to. Every year for many years. Every... Every... Uh, Autumn, end of summer, autumn time, I would be riding over magic mushrooms. 
quite funny because uh, in England the law is that uh, you can sit in a field and eat them to your heart's content, but the second that you bag them up and remove them from that field, they become illegal. So it's fine to sit sit on the spot while just eat them as you go. They're only illegal if you uh, <laughs> remove them from the land and prepare them for consumption. Well, dry them, I mean. So let's see. Um, where am I showing you here? Hmm. Just some fields and some random cows. <laughs> no leads is over there, actually. It's just that I'm feeling a little bit disorientated. So I'm struggling to give you landmarks. I'm thinking actually leads is over there. Can you see my finger? Yes, you can. Over there. So... Anyway, we're all back toward the rock, towards the rocks now. Enough perusing around the outskirts. Let's get on in there. I wasn't expecting this to be so busy, though, because, after all, it's Monday. I thought people would be at work. Obviously not. I wonder what would happen if um, Ben ate magic mushrooms. Would he start to hallucinate, or does it just work on humans? I think I'm walking over a rabbit warren. Oh, I nearly knocked it off then. That was lucky. Yeah, I'm definitely walking over a rabbit warren. What do you think, little Ben? There's lots of holes here. Oh, look at all these flies. Can you see them? Ooh, I'm going to have to walk through those in a second. So, okay, enough. Let's go. Let's go find a rock to sit on. I bought some lovely bread from there. Uh... Oh, look. Bit of a wall there, isn't there? Should we have a... a gander? We'll have a sagander. Rather frustratingly, when I'd finished filming yesterday and I'd only had five minutes left in a very low battery, and I switched off the camera thinking, ah, I'm in a bog. Switched off the camera thinking that um, I wouldn't have that. Yeah, I, just, I switched it off thinking that we'd done, really. And then there was all these little quirky things which I could have quickly got as I was walking back briskly, because my camera did stay alive. The battery, I mean. So that was a little bit annoying, but never mind. It just means there's things to go back and film up that way. I'm sure there's loads to go and film over. The area is called St. Ives, where the altar rock and the Ballantyre stone is. So I'm sure there's tons to film over there. We've barely scratched the surface. That's the wonderful thing about all these areas. You can keep going back and finding finding new, new things to uh, to film all the time. They're so extensive. Even Ilkley Moor, we've barely touched the surface on. Probably should have done a lot more than... Oh, well, now I'm not working. And I'm an official student. Well, hang on a moment. I can't really call myself an official student until I've got my student grants and, everything, and loans sorted out and everything. But once all that's sorted out, I can be an official student. And... Um, once that's the case, I'll have a lot more time in between my studying, of course, and lessons. I'm just doing a bit of rock climbing here. Doing a little bit of interfacing. Ah, with the best shoes in the world on for it. <laughs> Look, we just got all the way up from down there. Um, yeah, we'll have more time to do stuff like this. Go exploring. What do you think, little Ben? Come on. Little Ben's up for that, aren't you? <laughs> Hi. Come on, little one. Want to play? Come on. Good boy. Come on, we're going to walk up there. I think we might be almost up here. We're still filming time. Maybe five minutes left. 
boy. I haven't even seen one magic mushroom yet. It's good about I'm not out picking them, isn't it? Because I've never actually picked them in my life, so I wouldn't be the best. But I do know what they look like. Good boy, Ben. Hey, up, let's have a look at this rock here. I'm too hot. I knew it'd be too warm. Oh, look at that dog. Little Ben. What are you doing? What are you doing? Good boy. Yeah, I'm definitely too warm. Anyway, there we are. Nice view of the rocks. Just looking to see. Oh, there, yeah, look. There's some uh, things here, look. So, that's not just corrosion. Little Ben says, I'm going to investigate that for you, Nina. What do you think, little one? They don't like all the haziness going on above us. They've definitely been spraying. Again, do they ever not spray? Come on, little one. Hem haze everywhere all the time. Look, okay, this one's quite a good one for uh, markings. <clears throat> They're actually quite deep, like that's the whole of my little thing finger which fits in there. So. <clears throat> He's playing it cool now, he's ignoring me. Oh yeah, so I think we'll uh, I think we'll walk up. We're almost out of time anyway, for this section. Come on then! Oh, he's got a far more interesting smell than following me. <whistles> Come on, little one! Oh, keep walking through millions of flies. Oh, he's off. Oh, yeah, he heard food. That's why. Ben! It was scratching. <whistles> Don't be scratching. Don't like little dogs that scratch. Oh, I've got a follower. <laughs> All right, there's some uh, writing here. Have a nosy. I can't really see because the lighting. Nineteen. That says nineteen seventy-seven, which I don't think it does. I think it says nineteen ninety-seven. That's a shame because nineteen seventy-seven is the year I was born. <laughs> Little Ben. Right, let's get to the top before we run out of time on this segment. Mind you, we'll be rushing past lots of little markings like that there. But we're so close. Then we can start part two from up here. If we make it up before we run out of time. Oh, there's loads of writing here. I'll come back and film that in a minute. Yay, we're here. There's a pool there. Uh. Ben, come here. No, he won't come up. I don't want to have a drink. Oh, well, we're out of time anyway. You'll have to tune into part two if you want to watch me. Uh, if you want to see, I mean, a bit more.